To quench your never-ending curiosity, we'll reimagine what the world would truly be like if the T-Rex never went extinct. From ecosystem level changes to the impact on humans, we'll take a peek at both the good and the bad that would come with modern-day T-Rexes. Roughly 65 to 66 million years ago, it's thought that a humongous asteroid struck the Earth, changing it as we, or as the T-Rexes, knew it. From small creatures to large, the very makeup and composition of Earth's ecosystems changed, noted by massive species-wide extinctions. If no asteroid were to have struck our planet, what would have happened? Would T-Rexes still rule their ecosystems? Would we be living in fear over who the next T-Rex victim would be? Like most modern-day animals, it would likely be very difficult for T-Rexes to survive today in the capacity that they did back in their prime. Pressures such as new diseases, habitat loss, and climate change would probably have limited the number of T-Rexes that could live in a given area. This pattern is seen in many large modern-day predators, such as lions and wolves, usually because they require a lot of space and resources to survive. With this in mind, they may have even evolved to be smaller in size to survive in our harsh world. Don't be fooled by that idea, though. During their time, T-Rexes stood around 12 feet tall and 40 feet long, meaning they had a lot of size to reduce before they became crocodile-sized. T-Rexes may also have had a more fragmented habitat distribution, residing in patches of relatively undisturbed areas. Depending on their population numbers, they could have even taken on an urban legend role, similar to that of Bigfoot hiding in the wild, waiting for some poor, unsuspecting hiker to become dinner. They would also be extremely limited by food availability. During their heyday, they relied on huge dinosaurs to gain all the calories they needed to survive. In fact, some sources agree that the average T-Rex would need to eat the same amount of calories as 80 people every day in order to survive. Thus, they would likely have to go looking for meat wherever they could. T-Rexes originally lived throughout the area which now falls in the western United States. That's to say, the power of evolution could allow them to alter and move their range, possibly changing or expanding to other areas around the world. Regardless of where they would reside, if they never went extinct, it's likely that they would be in some contact with humans. While there aren't any certainties, humans would probably have to get pretty cautious and prepared when it comes to T-Rex encounters. Huh? Many people suggest that T-Rexes would be treated similarly to safari animals like elephants and lions. Depending on their distribution, we'd probably try to keep them within sanctuaries, just like African wildlife safaris. I'm sure a few wealthy businessmen would adore making money off T-Rex tours. In contrast to the current sanctuaries and safari parks of our time, parks that include T-Rexes would have to be equipped with structures and technology suited for their power. For instance, parks would have to have walls that were at least 6 to 12 feet tall. Park workers would have to carry firearms or tranquilizer guns just to keep themselves protected. In another sense, T-Rexes would likely be a huge pain to livestock herders across the globe. If you think that traditional livestock predators such as lions, wolves, and bears are bad enough, imagine a 12,800-pound lizard rampaging on your farm. It's okay, it's dead. Nobody move a muscle. Not so fun, is it? With their massive size, T-Rexes would have the capability to cause an immense amount of damage to cattle ranches and farms with just a few quick steps. This damage would likely have a substantial impact on the ability of farmers to make an income and produce meat, which would likely impact the welfare and stability of economies around the globe. Think of it. Global meat shortages, job losses, and millions of dollars in property damage, all due to an overgrown lizard trampling a fence and picking out some cattle for dinner. In fact, T-Rexes could likely have eaten up to 500 pounds of food in one bite. With this in mind, farm animals wouldn't stand a chance. In the case that you were a farmer trying to defend your herd, you might as well give up. Due to their strength, you'd likely become the T-Rex's next meal, and a prized one at that. Luckily, you don't have to worry too much about T-Rexes seeking people out to put on their menus. Many scientists now think that they played a more scavenger or opportunistic-like role within their natural environments. There's a lot of evidence that leads people to that conclusion. First of all, T-Rexes had poor eyesight, which isn't typical of predators who need to locate and track down prey in complex environments. They also had extremely small and relatively unuseful arms, which would not have aided them in manipulating and grappling with prey. T-Rexes also had a fairly large body, which would have negatively impacted their ability to run. T-Rexes are said to have only reached top speeds of around 10 miles an hour. In other words, they weren't exactly considered to be the Usain Bolt of their era. With all of this in mind, scientists have recently discovered that T-Rexes had a pretty substantial olfactory system, which would have allowed them to scout out carcasses of meat from a great distance away. Considering these clues, it's likely that most T-Rexes would perform scavenger-like duties, feeding on animals that they have found in their natural path. Additionally, they could also be opportunistic, feeding on animals that are in open areas where they could hunt easily. As mentioned earlier, the last thing you'd want to do is have a run-in with a T-Rex. They would have no issue gobbling you up and moving on to find the next unsuspecting person who comes across their path. If you did find yourself in the unfortunate situation of being chased down by a T-Rex, there are a few things that you could try to save your life. 
First of all, if you had access to high-power weaponry such as firearms and tranquilizer guns, that should be your first line of defense. For most T-Rexes, these tactics would simply disarm them or distract them from the situation. With that being said, it would be best for you to have some distance between you and the T-Rex, because they're not afraid to bring some pretty big knives to your gunfight. If you didn't have the good fortune of having some sort of weapon, your best bet would be to run for the hills. Due to the T-Rex's large body and relatively moderate running speeds, you could easily lose them in a complex ecosystem like a forest. In most cases, T-Rexes won't be agile enough to traverse the terrain in forest-like ecosystems, which can give you enough time to escape with a new life lesson under your belt. One last thing that we should consider is the impact that T-Rexes would have on our modern-day ecosystems. As touched on before, the world as they knew it has changed considerably, which means that they would have to find new ways of surviving and succeeding. On an ecosystem level, if any T-Rexes were able to survive, which would be incredibly unlikely, they would have been the true dominant force within their food webs. They would likely have substantial impacts on our current apex predators, which would in turn have an impact on prey, and thus an impact on primary producers. In other words, the impact of introducing T-Rex into our modern ecosystems would be akin to weather reports. I'm here at Barry Island Beach, and there's no time to stop. Fully up to chance. Due to their massive size and caloric needs, modern T-Rexes would probably not be able to survive well, especially not in large numbers. At the end of the day, while it's fun to speculate and calculate what would exactly happen if T-Rex didn't go extinct, it's simply that, speculation, a work of imagination if you will. With that said, there are a few main probable things that would be different if T-Rexes did still roam the Earth. Firstly, they would have major top-down effects on our current ecosystems, devastating apex predator populations which impact all species below them on the food chain. In terms of human impacts, T-Rexes would likely take on the well-earned title of biggest livestock predator in the world. People would have to set up extra defenses for their farms, and there would be millions of dollars in damage caused by T-Rexes yearly. Lastly, the world could look something like Jurassic Park, with dinosaurs being contained within high-security sanctuaries, similar to our modern-day safari parks that house dangerous animals such as lions and elephants. That's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed taking this deep dive into the theoretical future that we could all be living in if one asteroid had not hit Earth so many millions of years ago.